What is amplifier clipping? Clipping at its root is distortion. It occurs when an amplifier is overdriven and attempts to deliver output voltage or current beyond its capability. Why is clipping important? Clipping comes into play in two places in our audio system, our speaker level amplifier and our preamp level amplifier. This is hugely important when we set the gains of our amp. We want to match the maximum output of the preamp level to the maximum speaker output of the amplifier. This ensures the best audio quality from both the radio and the amplifier. What does clipping look like? Audio signals are a series of waves. These waves have perfectly formed tops and perfectly formed bottoms. Clipping causes the wave to no longer have a perfectly formed top or bottom. To show you what this looks like, we'll use a 30 Hz test tone recorded at 0 dB and connect an oscilloscope to the speaker output of the radio. To see clipping, we need to increase the volume to exceed the output capabilities of the amplifier by raising the volume. Here we have a nice clean top with a descending arc, and now you'll get to see the top of the wave get cut, and this is amplifier clipping, or better known as distortion. The byproduct of distortion is heat, and that has lovely effects on our speaker voice coils. Are some radios better than others? We'll take it a step further. Depending upon the quality of the radio or amplifier, you may have clipping at different frequencies. A one kilohertz tone may play fine, but a 30 hertz tone will clip at the same volume level. Add in the fact that some radios have EQs and that creates additional issues. To demonstrate this, we'll show you a couple examples utilizing the AVH 4200 NEX double din radio. Make sure to check out our review on that radio right here. We'll start with setting the EQ to powerful and take some measurements. We'll begin our test with the internal pre-amplifier and test using a 30 Hz, 60 Hz, and 100 Hz test tone to see if our radio can maintain the same volume setting on all three test tones. We hook up our oscilloscope to the front RCA leads and begin playing our 30 Hz test tone. You can see here at 30 Hz, we have no clipping at 38, slight clipping at 39, and excessive clipping at 40. At 60 Hz, we have no clipping at 36, slight clipping at 37, and excessive clipping at 38. At 100 Hz, we have no clipping at 34, slight clipping at 35, and excessive clipping at 37. Based on that test, you can see the internal pre-amplifier is pretty clean up until the last 10% of the volume range. Mind you, we only took this test with a single RCA and with a pretty short lead. Now we'll show you how changing the EQ curve has a direct effect on pre-amplifier clipping. We set the EQ to flat and do all the same measurements. We play our 30 Hz test tone and we have no clipping at 38, slight clipping at 39, and excessive clipping at 40. With our 60 Hz test tone, we have no clipping at 38, slight clipping at 39, and excessive clipping at 40. Our 100 Hz test tone yields the exact same results. No clipping at 38, slight clipping at 39, and excessive clipping at 40. Exactly the same across the board. What does clipping sound like? Here in our examples, you can actually hear when the amplifier clips. It makes an almost rattling or slapping noise. How do I use all of this to set my gains? To set the gain, we'll set the radio volume to 38. This is also the maximum clean output of the radio. Volume 38 will also be the level in which we'll never exceed when we play music. We'll connect the RCAs to the amplifier and turn the amp gain all the way down. We'll connect the oscilloscope to the speaker outputs of the amp and slowly increase the gain until our wave begins to clip. Our gain is now set perfectly. In this video, we use the inexpensive $89 oscilloscope, the DSO Nano, with an upgraded lead. If you're into car audio and electronics, this is a must have. Click in the description below for more info and where to get one. That's it on amplifier clipping and how to set your gains. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button and leave any comments below. 
don't forget to subscribe. We've included a series of zero dB test tones so that you can test and set your gains. Thanks for watching.